Evolutions has been added to EA Sports FC and it is genuinely the best thing in this game. So for this video, I'm on a fresh account because I'm going to be doing a complete guide on how to use this game mode correctly. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the evolutions tab and we are going to open the evolutions. Now you may have already started to do some evolutions, but if you do things wrong here, I'll put the wrong players in the wrong places, you could potentially ruin your ultimate team account. So the first one that you're going to be looking at is going to be the founders evolution. Now this is going to be available to everybody who comes onto the game. Now if you don't really fully understand what evolutions is, let me explain. If you want to build the best team possible in EA Sports FC, make sure to go and buy some coins from Mule Factory and use the code LECOINS5 for a discount. Evolutions is basically a game mode within Ultimate Team that allows you to upgrade players. You can take a rubbish player and do some objectives and once you've done them, you'll be able to get yourself a sick upgraded player. So starting off with the first one, it's going to be the Founders Evolution. And as you can see here, the example that they're using is Nunez. Now, in terms of choosing the players that you're actually going to put into these different evolutions, it is completely up to you. Now, you could come on and just use players from your favourite team, players who are meta, players who don't really fit in there. So it's up to you who you use. Now the way that I'm actually going to be using this is specifically to upgrade players from Wigan Athletic because I know that there's a ton of promos in this game. So with this first one, this is all you have to do and this is how all the evolutions work. For this, you're going to be getting a plus one weak foot upgrade, plus three shooting, plus three physical and two more. And the card as you'll be able to see here looks absolutely ridiculous. The card design looks so good and for this, all you need to do is win two squad battles games with an active EVO player in game. And then what you do is you go into a game of Div Rivals or Squad Battles and just win it twice. For winning it twice, you'll be getting yourself the level one evolution player, which is untradeable. And then after that, you're gonna move into level two and for that, you need to win four games in Squad Battles or Rivals. Now, choosing the player to put into this Founders Evolution is pretty difficult. However, there is a tool that you can use which sorts all this out for you. So the website I'm going to be using for this is going to be foot.gg. Link in the description. I'm not sponsored by this. I wish I was, but I'm not sponsored by it. And the players that you're able to use have to be a striker. So what you can actually do is you can come onto this trending tab right here and you'll be able to see a ton of gold rare players and in your head you're thinking, all oh, right, Gold players are trending. Yeah, they're probably for evolution. So good players to do this with is going to be Nunez as your first option. Danjuma is another good option. Werner is an option as well. Alvarez is also an option. If you scroll down, there's not really too many other people you could use with this. Admittedly, there's maybe like one or two. You could go for Hoyland if you wanted to, but pick players who fit into your team first and foremost. So once you've done Founders Evolution, what you're going to do after that is come over to Welcome to Evolutions. Now out of all the evolutions, I'll be completely honest with you, this one is pretty bad because you're only going to be getting a plus one upgrade on pace, passing, dribbling and physical. And the player can be overall max 80, pace max 90, defending max 80, so pretty much anyone in this game. And like you can see here, it's just player one game, just using the player in the. It really isn't that hard and you're only going to be upgrading passing and physical. So for this, what I would recommend to do is mainly use players who will benefit from those stats. Maybe some left backs, right backs. I wouldn't really worry about this one too much, but left backs and right backs who fit into your team or who are from your favourite club, probably a good shout for this one. Moving into the next one, it's going to be a pacey protector. Now, do not waste this because I did on my main account. I used Charlie Hughes from Wigan Athletic and... The max he can go is like 63 <laughs> rating, pointless. So you're going to be getting an upgrade to the pace, the passing, and this is specifically for centre-backs with a max overall of 80. Pace is going to be 65, and you can basically read all the rest. So for this, all you need to do, again, is just win some games and play some games. So you can pretty much do a ton of these in objectives for squad battles, Div rivals, whatever it may be. And in terms of some players to use, unless you're using players from your squad, try these out. So again, I'm going to be using the trending tab to find some of these players. So as you can see, people have already started using some of these players. Matip is being used by a lot of people at the minute. He's a very good option. If you want to as well, you can click onto the players and just go over to the evolutions and you can see what they actually will look like with a bit of an upgrade. As you can see, Matip goes to 76 pace, 73 passing, 84 defending, 82 physical 
ridiculous. So for this one, it's really simple. Like I said, you're just winning games, playing games. You can upgrade quite a few players and later on in this video, I will show you something that you absolutely have to know if you're gonna do evolutions. Moving into the next one, it's gonna be Relentless Winger, which is 50,000 coins or 1,000 FIFA points. Admittedly, this one is actually pretty good because you can upgrade some of these players very, very well. However, the challenges are a lot harder. Score four goals, play five squad battle games. It's pretty difficult, but by the end of it, this is what Perisic could look like. Now, this one, I hate to say it, it's probably worth it. Because you can take any rubbish player and just put them into this and make them absolutely insane. You're going to be getting potentially a plus six upgrade on any player. Providing that they are left wing and they've got all those different things in there. But the thing is, you're going to be getting a huge pace passing, shot increase, dribbling increase, like if you've got a player who fits into this genuinely, it is worth doing. I hate to say it because it does cost money, but go and watch my other videos, go and find out how to make some coins and then go and chuck them into this evolution. Just trust me, please, please, please trust me. The main one that everyone's using for this one specifically is Ansu Fati, he seems to be like the main one that everyone's going for. If we click onto his evolutions as well, again, welcome to evolutions into Relentless Winger, you get an 85 rated card, and not getting wrong, that card does look sick, but one thing to bear in mind with evolutions is with promos coming out thick and fast we do have the road to the knockout or road to the final promo I think it is this weekend players could get outshined by those promo cards just bear that in mind don't waste your evolutions on cards who could potentially get a promo card moving into these next few this is where things get very very interested now Golden Glow genuinely is my favourite evolution and it's probably the best thing in this game. Like I said, I support Wigan Athletic and I've been upgrading players like Charlie Hughes, Thelo Asgard and there's been a ton of different people who I could have put in there as well. Now if you're someone who supports a lower rated team in this game, definitely use this for your favourite players. Now if you're not, there is a bit of a bit of a tool, a bit of a trick that you can use, but let me go through and show you how this evolution works and then I'll talk about how to make the most of it. So for this, with these players, you just need to play two games. Simple as that, you also need to win three games as well. Now if you start off with a 64 rated centre mid, as you can see from the requirements, it's 64 rated maximum position centre mid, you could potentially get them to 80 rating. Now 80 rating is all well and good, but if we go over to Golden Glow Part 2, you can then take that card and go and put it into this right here, which could then potentially make them an 82 rated card. That's ridiculous. If you're not sure who to go for and you don't want to use a Wigan player or you've not got a second team or whatever it may be, go over to FC24 players at the top, click on to evolutions here and you will get a ton of different players who fit into the sort of best possible evolutions. So based on that, this Alibev, Alibev, I think that's how you pronounce his name, is the absolute best one to do. As you can see here, you can go from welcome to evolutions to get him to a 63 rated card, go to golden glow part one to get him to a 79 rated card and then go to relentless winger because he's got a secondary position at left wing which gets him 85 rated card and he's gone from a 62 rated to an 85 rated that's ridiculous but if you follow every single thing that i've spoken about in this video evolutions for you will be absolutely unbelievable if you're wondering though how to get coins to even do evolutions make sure to go and click this video i'm doing a ton of tips at this minute in this game and just go, I can't even speak in it. Just go and check it out, please. Please. Hey. <laughs>